Hello, everybody. Welcome to a non-streaming tutorial video. I think everything's working. See the virtual keyboard and all that? So I've seen a couple people asking how to get on the ice jumps. Um, and I know there's a lot of older tutorial videos, but I haven't seen one recently, so I decided to go ahead and make one. I'll watch somebody here do the easy way. So it's easier than ever now with the uh, chronoscope, chronoscope ship buff, which I think is this one. Yeah. Because you get 40% movement speed, you can also use the uh, house P pendant of time for house P favor. But uh, I just tend to rely on the chronoscope ship buff anymore. Otherwise, you probably need expeditious retreat or haste or a speed item. Any of that stuff works. So I have a speed item here. Gives me 30% movement speed. I've got the chronoscope shift buff, which gives me 40% movement speed. So I'm either way, I think I'm pretty well covered there. Uh, the other thing you need to do is check out your jump stat. With a 34, I probably could make it, but just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, gloves of jump here. Gives me five minutes to jump, and that will take my stat oops, up to 44, which is. 42 is cap now, I think. Anyway, you come up here to the harbor. There's a little boathouse here sticking out. If you have a lower jump, you can jump and get that blue coin there. It's not a big deal. You just jump out to it, and there you go. The water looks crappy because I have post processing turned off for the skating because um, it blinds me otherwise. Anyway, so it, this is a little tricky here. You get used to how to how this works. You want to be up into your light gravity, and you can jump to either of these masts right here. A lot of people jump to the right one. Uh, several people, including myself, jump to the left one. It's personal preference on which one you jump to. I think they're just as easy as the other. And it is tricky to stop at just the right time. I went through that time. Held on a little too long. You'll get a sense based on your jump stat and uh, how fast you're moving as to where you need to stop after a while, after a couple times. Like, that looks right, yeah. You want to be right in the mast. Mm. And then you're going to jump. You can get that white coin. You don't have to. There's the other mast somebody got on, just to show you the other one. So there's several people doing the jumps right now. You can get this white coin right in front of you, and then you want to get on that ramp. But you want to go this way first to sort of line it up. And then you want to come over here, drop down, jump up, grab some extra coins in the way. And then the easiest thing to do is get in this corner. Now, if you jump too high, you're going too fast, you might be tempted to go over. But you can't not actually stay still on the ice. So you want to use these corners to stop your momentum and then come down this way, make this jump, and then come this way. And it is possible to get all three depending on your jump, but there's the purple one you want. And at this point, you have enough jump and movement speed that it should be easy to just hop right back up. Hello, hop right back up on the ship and do it all over again. So that's the easier way from the bottom. It is possible from the top ramp up there in the harbor. You can come from that one and get the coins along the way and get it through that way, but it seems to be less consistent. If you're just really going for the purple, this is the easier way to do it uh, for most characters, I think. Um, there is another way that involves going up top of the building there and using abundant step or wings or whatever you have that makes you move fast and just getting the purple directly from there. But that only works if you have those. So for most characters, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. 
jump into, uh, I missed it, one of the masts and uh, do it that way. So I'll do one more run here. Uh, I'm actually just waiting for that purple to repop anyway, so it doesn't matter if I miss. Oop. Sometimes you get that too, you kind of bounce off if you're not right in the middle. After all, you get the hang of it. Uh, last time the ice games are around, I I don't know how many hundreds of purples I did, but probably did around a thousand purples, maybe more. Um, I still had like 600 in my bank this time. I never got around to crunching, which by the way, crunching is easier now because you have the multi turn in, so you can crunch 100 at a time if you want. So I got to the mast. Whites really aren't that valuable, so I don't really worry about them much. And into the corner. It's actually, if you go into this corner, you can set it so you should be able to see when things respawn. For some reason, I'm not seeing those over there. Hmm. When the blue one responds here, because I picked up a blue one last time, then I know everything's respawned. Oh, there's actually another instance, so the easier thing to do, there's there's the respawn. You can see that there's a blue one there now, and the other white one, so everything should be respawned. The faster thing to do is if you can get up here quickly, then just change instances up here, and then that's a lot faster because then you just keep going. Kind of every instance gets your time down that much longer that you have to wait between. So pretty sure the purple's there already. Going to make this jump again and then this jump. Not quite. There we go. So that's it. That's how to get purples fairly easily. Um, your mileage may vary depending on stats and everything, of course, but that is the easiest way I've been able to do it. Thanks for watching and all that.